Hey there, thanks for uh, visiting this, uh, checking out this video here. For more great information about table tennis or ping pong, please visit pingpongracket.org. Today we're going to talk about the mental side of competition. And this really applies to other sports as well as ping pong and table tennis. But the, the, the topic today deals with frustration and temper. I've been uh, a competitive uh, athlete for uh, 20 years in various sports and I've noticed a couple of recurring themes and, I'm, themes and I'm sure you've noticed them too by watching sports on TV. Number one, when players get upset there's a couple of different ways to react. One, they can be, become complacent. I don't care, whatever, you know, no big deal. Number two, they can react with an extremely hot temper. If, it's, uh, if you're in the middle of a table tennis match you might see your opponent throw the racket, break a racket, crush a ball, uh, stomp around, whatever, throw a temper tantrum. Um, number three, they can react with uh, kind of a hybrid of the two, two extreme reactions. Well, reacting with complacency doesn't really uh, jive with me for a couple of reasons. One, um, if you react with complacency, you're telling me that you don't care about what's going on and you're not going to change the situation. That doesn't work. If you're complacent, you're also telling me you don't care enough to, to win. So, that's probably not the right reaction. If you react with a hot temper, that tells me another couple of things. One, you probably care, and you probably care too much. If you care too much, your temper is gonna get completely out of control, probably because you're struggling with a pride issue. It doesn't have to be all about pride and winning and magnanimous things. Relax a little bit. Let's find a mix or, or, or a special combination between complacency and having a hot temper. It's okay to get a little emotional when you're competing. In fact, I, I kind of encourage it with our, our students. If you're not a little emotional, you probably don't care. So, when you're competing, it's okay to get emotional, but what's important is what you do with the emotion. If you get complacent, that's not good. If you get a hot temper, that's not good. Let's look for positive solutions to the problem. What is happening to cause you to get emotional? Are they beating you or are you beating yourself? If you're beating yourself, take positive steps to make a change. Aim for the middle of the court more, aim for the middle of the table more, what have you. Stop going for so much if you're beating yourself. If they're beating you, we've got to employ a different strategy. If they're beating you, let's identify why they're beating you. Are they beating you with a big forehand? Are they beating you with a big return? If they are, change your strategy. Go for the backhand. If they're beating you with a big return, let's mix your serves up more. Let's hit different paces. The, the key is, when you're getting beat or you're losing, hopefully that's when we're seeing the problems. If you're winning and we're having these problems, that's a whole other issue. When you're getting beat and you're having problems, let's, let's take our emotions and funnel them positively to make changes in our game. I hope that helps you, um, you know, compete to your best of your ability next time you go out and you're in a match. For more great information and resources, please visit pingpongracket.org.